Good day, grade 9 math learners. For today, you're going to learn about angle of depression and elevation. Angle of elevation. It is the angle between the imaginary line of sight and the horizontal line where the object is above the observer. So for example, this is your eyes class and you're going to look up on a certain object above you, for example, a kite or an airplane. So there's an imaginary horizontal line and the line of sight, your line of sight towards that certain object. So the angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight, that is your angle of elevation. While angle of depression, it is the angle between the imaginary line of sight and the horizontal line where the object is below the observer. So for example, you are on the top of the building and you are looking on the people below that building or you are looking to you are looking at the cars or the trees below that building so this is your line of sight towards that object and of course here is the horizontal line angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal line and your line of sight generally speaking class if there's a lady looking above the hot air balloon and there's a person inside that hot air balloon that looking also at the lady and this respective horizontal line and the angle of elevation is 30 degrees and angle of depression is 38 degrees as well so we could say that the angle of depression and angle of the elevation are congruent because they are alternate interior angles. You have learned the concept of alternate interior angles class when you were in grade 8. So alternate interior angles are always congruent. So for you to understand better angle of elevation and angle of depression, let's have the different examples. So example number one, a hiker are 400 meters from the base of the radio tower. The measurement of the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 46 degrees. How high is the tower? So for us to understand better the problem, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to sketch the situation. So if this is the radio tower and from the base of the radio tower, there's 400 meters away, there's a hiker and the angle of elevation from the hiker to the top of the radio tower is 46 degrees. So the question is, how high is the tower? So step two we're going to list the given so the given are first the angle of elevation angle of elevation is equivalent to 46 degrees and the base of the tower the distance between the base of the tower and the hiker is 400 meters so we are looking for the height of the tower. Okay, this time class, we're going to analyze the given. So you have learned in the previous lessons that if this is your theta or this is your angle here. So considering your angle, the 400 meters, this is your, this is your adjacent side. While the height of the tower in relation to the given angle, this is the opposite side. So with that, you're just going to analyze and decide which trigonometric ratio or which trigonometric function are you going to use in solving the height of the tower. So given at the adjacent side and the opposite side, what ratio are we going to use? Is it sine, 
cosine or tangent. With this example class, since the given is adjacent and opposite, then we're going to use the tangent ratio. So, tangent theta is equivalent to opposite over the adjacent side. And the angle given the, there in our problem, tangent theta is 46 degrees. And the opposite side is not yet to be found. Or we're going to found the opposite side, which is the height of the tower. And your adjacent side is 400 meters. So here, you need to use your calculator. So cross multiply. And that would be equal to 400 times tangent 46 degrees equals the opposite side. So, you multiply 400 and tangent 46 degrees and that would be opposite side equals 414.212 meters. And that would be the measure for the height of the tower. So now I want you to answer the question therefore the height of the tower is 414.212 meters now let's have the next example a person stands at the window of a building so that his eyes are 12.6 meter above the level ground an object is on the ground 58.5 meters away from the building on a line directly beneath the person. Compute the angle of depression of the person's line of sight to the object on the ground. So I've said class, we need to, first thing that we need to do, we need to sketch the situation so that we could um, visualize what is the given. So here, there's a person that stands on the window of the building so that his eyes are 12.6 meters above the level of the ground. So here, so this from the height of the building towards the so towards his line of sight that is 12.6 meters, which is here. And an object is on the ground here which is this object underground 58.5 meters away from the building directly beneath the person so there's an object um, below the building and that person is looking at that object and that object is and that object is 58.5 meters away from the building so the our problem here class we need to compute for the angle of depression of from of the person's line of sight to the ground so what we're going to do second step we need to list the given so the given here are so angle of depression which is the thing that we need to solve in this problem next we have the base of the building, distance of the object away from the building. So that is equivalent to 58.5 meters. And of course, the height of the building. The height of the building is 12.6 meters. Okay, now. In relation to the given angle class or to the given data, we need to analyze what is 58.5 meters and 12.6 meters in relation to the data. So as we can see on the given sketch, uh, 58.5 meters, that is the adjacent side of the given data. While 12.6 meters that is the opposite side of the given angle. Now class, you're going to decide which trigonometric ratio are you going to use depending on the given on the problem. So the given on the problem is the opposite 
the opposite and the adjacent side. So, which trigonometric ratio that involves the opposite and the adjacent side? And that is no other than the tangent. So, we're going to use the tangent ratio in solving this problem. So, we're going to have tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So, tangent theta because we're here, we'll write theta here because that's the angle we are looking for. The theta. The opposite here is 12.6 and the adjacent is 58.5. So in this class, if we are looking for the angle, we're going to have the inverse function. So tangent equals the in inverse theta. So in the calculator, you're going to just press shift tan so, you, so that you can get the inverse function theta equals 12 uh, shift tan. Then press or input 12.6 over 58.5. And the theta here class would be 12.155. Since this is an angle, so it should be in the degrees form. And please don't forget to box your final answer. And you should have your conclusion. Therefore, the angle of depression is 12.155. And now let's proceed to the last example class. A 1.7 meter tall lady standing 27.5 meters away from the tree looking at the top of the tree with a height of 18.6 meters determine the angle of elevation. So, again, the first thing that we need to do, class, is you need to sketch the situation. So, here, as you can see, we have here the lady standing 27.5 meters away from the base of the tree. And that lady, the height of that lady, is 1.7 meters. And she's looking at the top of the tree with a height of 18.6 meters okay and we are going to find the question here we're going to find the angle of elevation so what we're going to analyze here in class for step two we need to list the given so the given here are the following the distance away from the three and that is 27.55 meters then the height of the lady you need to consider also plus the height of the lady is 1.7 meters and the height of the tree is 18.6 so we need to minus class the height of the lady minus uh, the height of the tree, the total height of the tree minus the height of the lady. Because we're just going to consider here the line of sight, or not the line of sight, but the horizontal line of the lady, the eye level. So it would be height of the tree minus the height of the lady. So you're just going to minus 18.6 minus 1.7 and that is 16.9 meters plus. And of course, the problem asks us to look for the angle of depression. Now I mean elevation. Okay. Now, since we already have all the lists here, we need to decide now what trigonometric function or trigonometric ratio are we going to use in solving this problem. So, let's analyze what is the given. So, the given there is a 
opposite side, considering the theta or the angle, the opposite side, and the adjacent side. So, which trigonometric ratio that involves opposite side, which is the 16.9 meters? This is the opposite side. And the adjacent side, which is this one, the distance away from the tree. So, there's no other trigonometric ratio that involves the opposite and the adjacent. It's only the tangent. So, we're going to use the tangent theta again. So tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Tangent theta, the theta is very class pertains to the angle of elevation theta. And that's what we are looking for. So, opposite that is 16. 0.9 meters divided by the adjacent, which is 27.5 meters. And since we are looking for the angle, we need to have the inverse tan or the inverse tangent. So tangent, I am sorry, theta equals to inverse tangent equals theta equals inverse tangent of 16. 0.9 over 27.5. So what you're just going to do, class, you're just going to solve this one using your calculator. And if you're going to press the equal sign on, on of your calculator, it will give you an answer of 31.573 degrees. And that is already your angle of elevation. So you need to finalize your answer by having the conclusion. Therefore, the angle of elevation is 31.57 degrees. And that's it class. That is all the problems that we have here in solving problems involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. I hope you have learned something and you are now ready to answer the formative assessment. Thank you and God bless great night.